Hi, good evening and welcome to another episode of Inside Tech, where we explore what is IT. I'm your host, Nicole Dennis, and tonight we are going to talk about online employment. So, topic tonight is online employment, but we'll join that in just a quick break. Yes, hello, good evening. It's now for me, it's past the hour of 8 o'clock, and I'm your host for tonight. I am, my name is Nikos Dennis, and I am the host of Inside Tech, where we explore what is IT. And tonight, I wanted to touch on the topic of online employment. How do you get started? I mean, a lot of persons have considered the idea of looking for a secondary job or a secondary option to work in or earning some income, and they've possibly not actually targeted the idea of working online and I'm here to just give a quick overview of the idea or actually how you go about it and where can you actually start get started with working online so tonight that's what we're going to talk about um, I wanted to point out to this to a lot of persons out there that are listening on the radio and also for those viewing on Facebook so if you're out there viewing on Facebook know that um, I am here why is this not let me just kill this. So, I am trying to both both for the radio and for the old video visual listeners. So, for those watching on Facebook, thank you for tuning in. For those on YouTube, thank you for tuning in. You're also connected to us here yeah, to this evening. Now, the idea of working online is something which a lot of persons have asked me about. A lot of persons have made inquiries about how to get started with working online, and it generally comes in the area where you have to figure out where you best suited, but also finding an actual area of where you can find yourself to finding the jobs that you want to work for online. And I don't want to go to an area where it just sounds like it's an IT based area. So I'm going to talk about three major platforms tonight, which actually specialize in online employment and actually giving guidance and knowledge about working online. So that's where we're going to talk it tonight, and that's where I'm going to go. So for those viewing, I am going to try to switch over, because tonight the show is not about me, so you won't see me that much on the camera, I'll just be in the bottom left-hand side of the screen. So all those who actually have the ability to watch online, you will be able to get an actual visual representation. Okay? So I'm just going to bring up my browser right now. I realize some things are just a little bit... So, but hey, okay, so you're good to go, I think, but I'm going to start first here. But also before I even start with talking about these platforms online, a lot of people need to know that generally your resume is usually the most important thing when you actually try and get a job online. A lot of persons have social profiles, you create this awareness of who you are, put little details about yourself, but having the ability to create a proper reputation online is probably the most key thing with when you're trying to apply for a job online one of the fields which i see a lot of people do when they actually try to apply online they list their social accounts as backgrounds into who they are because you know a lot of recruiters will look for this type of information but when they look at this information and they look back to you your social profile doesn't match a very suitable candidate um, at least to the recruiters and that can also pose a, like a hindrance to you actually getting the ability to get the job and that's something I think everybody should be mindful of so if you're a person you feel you're very outspoken on social media you feel you have a lot of personal feelings towards certain things which may seem a little bit wary of for an employer you should also always have ability to clear that account or 
start from scratch and make another social media account. Don't utilize an account which you are using as your personal, giving your own personal opinions on a lot of factors which could actually impact the idea or the perception of the type of individual that you are. So that is one of the key factors you want to always, always pay attention to. A, lot of, a secondary note is for those persons who have email addresses. I usually recommend people create email addresses in their real name. If you can't get it in your real name because it's already taken, you can add probably a number to it or something similar or close enough to your name. So if your name is like my name is um, Nicholas Dennis and I have my name as one of my email addresses, Mr. Dennis PN. P as in is for the middle initial for my for my for my middle name and N being my first name. So I just play it in back backwards. So I say it's Mr. Dennis PN at gmail.com. And that's the account I'll be using tonight because as I tell you, I want to walk you through the entire process. I don't want to just tell you, oh, go online, try working online. There's greatest opportunities. I actually want to show you and walk you through the process. So if some people are seeing me turning to the right hand side, that's because I actually have a screen on the right hand side where I'm actually, I set up everything and I'm just going to go to it. So if you see, you see me fail, I'm not a ghost. No, I'm not a ghost. But this is actually where I'm going to be utilizing for um, the visual representation. Okay. But um, as I was paying mention to reputation management, I'm also, goes, I'm also going to tell you something about when you create your online resume. When you create your online resume, what you have to bear in mind is how I go on. Okay. I'm going to give you a, a, an option. For most persons out there, when you create a resume and you give a cover letter to a regular job or regular employment, they usually you feel that they review your cover letter they read the the whole concept idea of what type of individual you are but with online if you google this you can literally google this how long do recruiters look at resumes and the response you will get is seven seconds seven seconds a well-organized and targeted resume is important because on average recruiters spend just seven seconds reviewing a resume with such limited time, the first impression you make is critical. So when you have just seven seconds, is what a general recruiter, international, will look at your resume. You can Google it if you if you want to verify anything I'm saying. You need to make a critical impact. Now a lot of persons, when you create your resume, you list your personal summary or tackle individual, a little background into yourself. I would tell you to normally skip that part when you create that resume. When you create that resume, you want to put the first thing at the top would be your skills. So you put your skills as to what abilities and talents that you have that is essential to actually giving you a job within a certain work area. The second one would be your talents or abilities. Um, but you can also go into, well, skills and abilities are almost the same thing, so you don't really need to separate it. But your second thing would be your experiences. So you want to initiate to the individuals reviewing your your resume that your your experiences how experienced you are or how many projects or many activities or work-wise experience that you've had you want to list it all there on your resume at the top so you start with your, with your basic details all contact everything you have your skills so i'm a web developer so i'd have all the different web platforms that i've worked with social platforms all this information and the skills after that experiences type of projects i've worked on how long i've worked on a project how successful was the project that type of information and then you come into your education because generally if you if you haven't noticed a lot of individual companies when they send out a, a, a vacancy notice they usually say five to six years of work experience they they re have heavily emphasize on the work experience because they want to not be having to train an individual when they bring them in. Sometimes you may have the ability to have some work knowledge while you're working and you can gain that knowledge at work, but generally they want to have an experienced individual. They don't want to invest into training persons. And with working remote, that is essential and critical. So as I was saying, um, your reputation is usually the most important thing with working online. So always bear in mind your reputation is essential. So I'm going to start tonight on one of the key platforms, which I will just fade it into focus for those on social media. Let me just bring the mic a little bit more forward. So make sure that you can hear me.
if you can hear me say whoop all right whoop all right so we're here now and this platform is called let me just remove this window we'll go here this platform is called indeed so you can spell the word indeed is i-n-d-e-e-d dot -E -E com for those who actually out there on um radio land for those watching on facebook i hope you can see um because i've put myself far to the bottom left this show is not about me it's about you i just want you to see this information because i want to walk you through it so we have this website here called indeed now indeed has fine job company reviews fine salaries upload your resume so i'm going to talk about three different platforms um indeed is one so with online you usually get the ability to work online by referrals um you you make it by your referrals your work experience um, recommendations um there are a lot of little tricks and nitty grits which i'll try and touch as many of them as i can with in the limited time that we have tonight so i'm going to talk about indeed so now when you when when you go on indeed the reason why i love this platform is that they try to really help you build yourself so you see this platform come at the front of the page at the top it says indeed it says find job company reviews find salaries it does what and that's where so what type of job you're looking for work from home and where what type of area do you want to work now as this is an ability it does have the ability to actually look for work in in full-time uh full-time job within a given area but we're actually trying to focus on remote work actually so i'm going to click on remote and i go and click find jobs so right now we come up with a list of searches for available jobs that are available with remote so now as i was talking i talked about resume first with as we started the show because this platform is heavily based on your resume but as i told you generally recruiters only take seven seconds so always make that resume appealing now you can add information on your resume which is heavily focused on impact um I wouldn't say you you would exaggerate or you add too much information that doesn't really reveal or, or actually reference to you but you want to have key wording or key information about yourself that is very impactful to the to your potential employer so when you put information out there on a resume you want to tell them okay i worked on this project this was how long i took on this project this is how much people i worked on and this was the success of the project so don't just say Oh, I've worked experience with um with um I work if it's an IT field. I have work experience with networking. I have work experience with um digital marketing. I have worked with with as an assistant. You actually want to show what's the success of your work experience, and that's one of the key things you also have to pay in mind when you're actually uploading a resume. So don't just list that. Uh, one of the things which you may hear a lot of persons tell you about. When you put your skills and your abilities, you don't want to be putting everything about Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. These are generally office applications which you normally use. So if you want to go to a little bit advanced, you can say, um, I've worked with um, email campaign managers and you could list one. If you've not worked with any, you can probably research about what email campaigns are about because that's one of the key things or a lot of... Um, online remote work actually entail because you have to find a way to reach potential clients for your for your for your employer and always keep an, a direct line of conversation with them during that time so we are scrolling here and you can see that our game researcher customer contact center associate we have benefits assist analyst sorry we are cannabis content creator okay so let me read this cannabis content creator we are startup we are started looking for cannabis professionals to create videos sharing their favorite strains and answering common questions no creator experience needed they usually are 25 to 75 dollars an hour not too bad not too shabby all right so they are data intake associates we have associate diversity and inclusion we are content researcher now a content researcher what exactly is that right here they say research the web and social media for personal stories and news regarding cannabis that we can republish, repurpose, or report. And the estimated earnings is sixty-one to seventy-seven thousand dollars a year, and that's in US for everybody who's asking. So, if you're a person you use a lot of social media, you 
scan the, you scan all social media outlets. Let's say you scan Facebook, you scan YouTube, Twitter, you keep scrolling in his feed, WhatsApp statuses. But that's something where you're actually someone who does a lot of content research indirectly. But if you have to do it purposely, and you can get paid for it, that might be something which you might be interested in doing. So instead of spending a lot of time those on your leisure at home saying, you know what, I don't know what to do tonight. I'm just going to look for a last. You could probably look into some type of jobs within content research. Um, they are part-time essay reviewers. If you're a person who had a very good um, background in literature or English, that might be something for you. So let me just read out what it says. It says part-time essay reviewer, um, remote work in New York, um, it ranges from seventeen dollars and fifty cents an hour. It's part time, so they say our 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 essay reviewers are language and writing experts who approach essay reviewing as tutors rather than as edit editors or proofreading using the paper method. So generally, they just want somebody to do a lot of summaries or reviews of the content which they actually want to have summarized for their platform. So I will touch on this a little bit more in advance in a follow-up episode where I will talk about how you can actually become a content writer or content blogger and earn income through that platform. Um, usually content writers or bloggers can earn about 40 to 50 US an article. So if you're a writer and you have a lot of knowledge in, in certain topics that you feel that you can expound out and you can actually give out as valid information on a blog website, that you don't actually have to create your own website, but you can do it for other individuals and they will literally pay you about $40, $50 US because the more content, the more unique content that's provided out there on the platforms on the internet is the more value it gives to whoever's paying for it because that's how marketers and advertisers find new ways to actually push out their promotions. So yeah, blogging is a cool thing. Um, maybe I will touch about actually how creating an entire blog. Um, but I don't know if I can do that in an hour, so I may have to break it down into two pieces. All right. So right then and there, we had this platform called Indeed. And as I've as I said, there's a lot of different options here where you can search up for remote work and the type of work you're looking for work from home. You could look for that and you can click find jobs. But what I'm gonna tell you to really focus on when you go to the website indeed.com, you're going to go to the home page. I'm going to go back to the home page. And the website name, as I want to tell you again, is indeed.com. So indeed.com. All right. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, which most people don't really do. I think they still give me the search option. So I'm just going to remove that from the address bar. I'm going to go to the main home page. Right. So I want to go all the way to the bottom of the page. And right at the bottom of the page, one of the things I want to tell you a lot of times when you visit the website, and it's usually a, a recruitment website, an employment website. You want to actually go to the bottom of the website and look at their legislation, what information they have with terms, payment plans, all these different types of options. These are what are the essential information which you need to do. The return policy, even if it's a store, you want to know how they operate before you actually do business with them. So that's one of the key things I can just put point that out there for everybody who's listening in the radio land and those people on the social media, if you want to take that out. So right now, I'm going to go straight to the area where it says career advice. I'm going to click on it. Career advice. So now, excuse me. So right now, we're under the area that says career advice. Indeed, indeed career guide. So they actually have a guide where they give you a lot of different information about creating a proper outline of how to work online. And this is what we actually want to talk about tonight, how to get started. So they have about finding a job. Resume and cover letters. So there are this area that says resume and cover letter articles, resume samples, cover letter some cover letter samples. And the cool thing about it is this does not actually just have to be as a resource for online work. If you're actually looking to excel within your current workplace and you want to look for an alternate job, you want to say you want to advance your career, they have a lot of information here which can be valuable to persons even us within the caribbean it's not just international it could be useful to you and it's a great resource so you can go to the career guide and for you to find that page asks i'm going to say it again you go to indeed.com you scroll all the way down to career advice and you click it and you get the career guide so let's say i want to see like a resume sample i'm going to click one 
So they have your resume sample and examples to inspire your next application. So you have browse resumes. And the cool thing about Indeed, why I actually wanted to recommend it as one of the websites for people out there looking to get started to working online, they have resume templates for almost, well, a, a major, they have a large access library of, of resume templates. I don't see everything, but they have a large amount. So we have administrative assistants, we have assistant administrative, we have bookkeepers, we have clerk, we have construction superintendents, we have controller, data entry clerk, general manager, logistics specialist, office clerk, and the list just goes on. Receptionists, designers, we have account executives, we have consultants, we have interns, executives, office managers. I'm just going to click on a random one. So let's say I want to be a senior project manager. I want to apply for this type of job. So let me click what they tell me about the resume. So right now, so you see, writing a great senior project manager resume is an important step in your job search journey. Journey, sorry. When writing your resume, be sure to reference the job description and highlight any skills, awards, and certifications that match with it, the requirements. You may also want to include a headline or summary statement that clearly communicates your goals and, com and qualifications. So they give you all this general information, which is valuable to you. If you didn't know it and you want to actually find like, you don't actually have to look for a mentorship, but it's like an indirect mentorship program right there available to you for free on edit.com. So if you scroll down, they'll give you an example of the resume, the summary, the education, the experience, and the certifications and the skills. And if you click and you hold and you swipe right, it'll give you a secondary um, resume sample. So they have all these samples here. As I told you, they have a very large library of resumes. If you can see this, all those people on Facebook, all the people on YouTube, I'm hoping you can see this. I don't know if I supposed to zoom anymore. So let me see if I can, uh, just one moment, facebook.com. You know, I need to pay attention to my viewers. I'm very sorry about this, but multitasking, all right? All right, so the audio isn't loud enough. Let me double check this. All right, let me just bring up my microphone and let me bring up the audio. You didn't want to be distorted, but I'm hoping the audio is good for you now. All right, so we have a lot of different available application options. And if you check out Indeed for those people who just join in, I was recommending a platform, a website, a reference website called Indeed.com, which is one of the places where you can get started if you want to know about online employment. You can look for jobs, but I recommend taking the career advice guidelines and work through and help through where they actually have options about finding a job, interviewing, the type of pay and salary you should um, inquire about receiving if you want to apply for a job. Um, it could probably even help you if you want to excel personally. Um, I've normally told persons, especially youth, um, there are three types of employment. There's work, there's job, and there's career. Work is what you generally do because you need to have some means of financial income, so you do work. A job is what you can tolerate doing, you can excel at it, but sometimes it's not the field where you actually want to be remaining. And you have a career where you feel passionate about, something you thrive in, you love the career, and you just grow with that. But one of the things a lot of persons, if you're out there and you want to actually improve yourself, you say to yourself, you know what? After two years, you need to ask yourself a question. Am I growing? Am I reaching the point at which I want to excel in my life? Am I rich in this area? Do I want more? So if you're in a job and it's past two years and you don't know if you're excelling, you don't know if you're going on the path or the trajectory that pushes you into that area, you need to ask yourself a question and you need to go forward with trying something. Else. But as I said, we, we're winding up. I don't want to spend too much time on just one platform because we have three, three of them and we have just about an hour. Um, so I just recommend it indeed. Uh, as I told you, they have a lot of different options about resumes and cover letters and resume and letter articles. They have descriptions about interviewing. They have here for the top interview questions to prepare for with answers. They have how to answer, tell me about yourself in a job interview. Because, you know, a lot of times you go to a job interview and they want to ask you a question, tell me about yourself. You know, a lot of times they don't really want to 
you let you tell it they're not really interested in you telling them about yourself they're just interested in how you reference how you speak about yourself the type of mannerisms your character traits um the way you, you the way you speak you know the way you pronounce pronounce words all of these factors is just the creating a base profile about you and you may get that in 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 a secondary interview especially if online they may have a, a video call, a video conference call with you, and it may be shared between one or two or three persons and will ask each ask you different questions. And if you have the the knowledge or the experience of how to handle yourself in those type of situations, it'll be very beneficial to you. All right? So you're saying to yourself, don't be ill prepared. I mean, you can listen to watch some YouTube videos, probably that'll work out for you, but I recommend this website indeed.com. And if you scroll to the bottom of the page, right at the bottom, there's an area that says career advice. And you just go under the interviewing part. You'll get a lot of references here. Um, in, the, in the reference of pay and salary, pay and salary is, it depends really on the work area, arena. You know, um, online is very competitive. I'm not going to tell it's easy, um, but it's very competitive. And I will come to the area of how to actually at the end of the show because there's the last website which i'll talk about um which is one of the most prominent ones but i will tell you the trick i'll tell you how to hack the online employment algorithm so we'll get to that at the end but if you check out indeed it has the area where it's how to negotiate salary after a job offer with 15 tips how to ask for a raise a guide with tips and scripts and work from home jobs that pay well so right now if you're watching on facebook or YouTube, you can see this area there is the free links, the free articles. You can head over to the website, look at it, read it for yourself because I don't want to go into it because it might take me more than the actual hour which I'm given to do this radio program. All right. So, okay. So, this is it. Um, we'll be right back. I'm going to take a quick short break. Um, thank you for joining with me. And please stay tuned as we get back to another featured website about working online. All right. Across the Caribbean, you listen. Across the world, you listen. And at home in the Nature Isle, you listen. You listen to DBS for unbiased coverage of breaking news, original programs, and so much music. You listen for the information that will change your lives and the humor to brighten your days. So here at DBS Radio, we deliver. We deliver timely news, information to live by, and the everyday interaction that we all so need. These are the things that make DBS Radio the better sounding radio in Dominica. Keep on listening. and now we're back you're now listening to inside tech i'm your host for tonight my name is nicole's dennis i well inside tech is generally about where we explore what is it and when you hear the term it i don't want you to think about it as a technical thing where it's just a bunch of people that know about computers it's generally the term it means information technology and i'm here to just give you information about technology and how we can advance you so that's what we're about so tonight we're talking about online employment, how to get started. So I just referenced a website called indeed.com. And on this website, it has a lot of areas where you can look for jobs online, but I really wanted to use this platform as a tool where they talk about the career advice and how to actually build yourself, build your, your arsenal of experience, or at least the arsenal in the area of when you go for a job interview or job recruitment process you know how to actually challenge the people who are actually recruiting you and have a great impact or at least landing that job so this is one of the websites that i recommend it and i'm going to go to another website probably you've heard about it so those people out there in um i won't say red, just radio land but social media online 
you've been involved with this, you probably heard of this platform. So the second platform I'm going to talk about tonight is the one called Upwork. So Upwork. So you can visit this website. It's upwork.com. So you have a website called Upwork.com. And Upwork.com, while Indeed is more of a resume and they look prior, they prioritize a lot on your work experience and just your basic skills. Upwork usually just tell on your talents. What what are you good at? You know, so why are you good at? It does have the ability to have a lot of certification and qualifications, but it's generally a talent network. So if you're a very talented person and you feel that you have a lot of skills and you have the ability to expand your mindset or your way of thinking, Upwork might be an easier platform for you to get in. And because Upwork has this ability to work in peers, it's like a collaborative team board. I feel it's, a, it's an area where it can actually help you advance yourself if you want to work online. Because it has this program through Upwork. I'm going to see if I can just jump into it. Okay, it, it's also saying it's trusted by Microsoft, Airbnb, and Bissell. Um, but browse talent by category. So if you're watching right now, I'm hoping everybody can see. So you see right at the top of the page, you see how work should work. Forget the old rules. You can have the best people right now, right here, get started. Um, it's also a good platform for businesses. So if you have a business and you want to advance your team or you have a group of individuals, you feel they're a bit lagging behind, you can find some information here. Now, while... There's a lot of little highlights at the top about what you can get or where you can search. As I tell, I'll scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. So, general, general guidelines. When you see you come to any educational website or any type of um, employment website, scroll to the bottom of the page. Look for the resource information that they have linked to it. It might not be right at the top. They may have a lot of paid promotional information but you want the resource information available to you. So they have this information below for clients and for talent. They say how to hire, talent marketing place, product, project catalog, talent scout, hire an agency, payroll services, hire worldwide, hire in the USA. And for talent, they have how to find work, direct contracts, find freelancer jobs worldwide, find freelancer jobs in the USA. Um, there are success stories, there are reviews, they have a blog. Sometimes I, I usually go to the blog just to see what new features they are bringing across and how well it can benefit me. Um, I've, I've signed up to Upwork, but I have not been on the platform for a while, um, generally because my work schedule indirectly does not have me having the ability to do a lot of this online work. Um, it's very hectic for me. Um, most people will say to yourself, why don't I work online all the time? Um, I don't say that I've gotten old. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten old. I'm a dad now, and I really try not to do a lot of the hustle type of work. Um, it it helps. It pays. Um, I do have means of generating secondary income. Um, but that's generally where we come and we talk about um registering your register, res transferring your local registry to an international business registry, and how to actually get money transfers internationally but that is another show which i'm not going to talk about tonight um so i will talk about that a little later on for individuals who are interested all right so right now we are on uphook.com so i'm going to say the website again for those in radio land for those on facebook or for youtube it's upwork.com so it's up up and work.com so simple website simple to remember that's why i wanted to pick them actually i have about 17 websites where you can find work online um so i could call all the names but i don't think everybody remember them um but yeah i got f about 17 of them but i'll touch on them just before the end of the show but right now i'm not going to touch on them um i'll do that afterwards okay so we have how to find work so i'm going to click for the talent because i'm not i'm i consider myself a talented individual I say to myself that I have some skills which might be useful to some businesses. So I'm going to click here, how to find work. So I want to understand what they talk about for the talent. So let me click it. As I told you, so work the way you want. Find the right work for you with great clients at the world's work marketplace. Create your profile. So they ask you to create a profile. So they say create a profile. It's free. Explore ways to earn, get paid securely. Now, one of the key things with each platform, you really want to know how you receive your money online. 
Now, a lot of people know, or they may say to themselves, you know what, I use PayPal, or I probably have some transfer system. So there's like Wise.com, there's Payoneer. Um, I have been a heavy, avid Payoneer user because of the global payment service. I literally have a US bank account with First Century Bank of America. And anytime I get any transfers international, I usually transfer it to that account. And then I use my SWIFT code from National Bank of Dominica into the Payoneer service, which then falls the money. It usually takes about, well, it can take about two to three days, but certain times, depending on the amount of money I'm sending, I can get it within five, six hours. And depending on the time of the day, I send it on what day in the week I'm sending it also. So you have a lot of variable factors, all right? But you're looking to earn one of the things you have to know about is getting paid online. And I really want to touch on this because um, one of the things with this show I want everybody to know about, this show, we'll talk about ways for we can expand development for Dominica in the area where I will launch a campaign and show how the diaspora persons can link with the local persons to actually have a growing business ability for the local business industry. So all business industry, sorry. So all local entrepreneurs, if you're really interested in working, there's a way where you can work with the diaspora persons and form a real good business relationship. But that's a, a for another show. If you're really interested and you like the show, please give a thumbs up on the Facebook. You give a thumbs up on the YouTube. Let my employers know that I'm actually doing a good job and it's actually benefiting you at home. All right. Thanks much. All right. So here... Um, while I, while I do say that going on Upwork is going to give you a lot of information about finding a job, you really want to go through the resource material. The, the resource material, while it may sound sometimes a little bit um, overbearing because you say to yourself, I don't really know where to go. This is why I'm actually trying to give you the guidelines of where to actually click to actually find the information which is necessary so you can get started. All right. So this is how I'm guiding you now to get started. But you know what? I'm going to sign up. I'm going to click, I'm on, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on Upwork. I'm going to click the sign up to the top right of the screen. I'm going to click sign up. So what they say, I'm a client hiring for a project or I'm a freelancer looking for work. So for those in Radio Land, I'm actually on the website Upwork.com. So it's U-P-W-O-R-K.com. And I just click sign up at the top right. And I'm going to select, I'm a freelancer looking for work. So I'm a freelancer. Yeah, that's what I call myself. Click apply. Okay, so they're asking you now to enter my first name, last name, email, password, my location, Dominica. You know what? I'm just going to click continue Google. So normally you see these type of logins um, with with um, your email account or social or your mobile device. Um, you can use this type of logins if you don't want to enter all your details. I sometimes recommend entering your details, but sometimes a lot of people feel it's too hectic. They don't have the ability to, the mental capacity to actually go and type everything all out when their mind just want to get forward with, with something. So it might not be for this type of website, it might be for some shopping website or something. Sometimes you can do the sign with, with, with um, the platform. Sometimes it might be better to sign up. But for now, I'm just going to click continue Google. So let me just continue Google and I'm going to just use an account. So as I told you, I'm going to use Mr. Dennis.pn. It's not my main, but I don't think that'll be an issue. Nobody can see my password. I hope not. Yeah, I don't think anybody can guess it. Oh my God, it's asking me to sign. Ah, okay. This is asking me to sign in too many different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put my full name. So, okay. Nichols, Dennis, Mr. Nichols, Dennis at gmail.com. Hmm. All right, so I click sign in and I go and click, I agree to the terms and service. If you're an individual wary about terms and services, you can. Now, a lot of persons usually worry about how, do, how does this thing get taxed. Um, the platforms which you normally sign up to, they have a joint relationship with the tax registries for each universal country. So they usually they pay a tax consumption based on the fee which they take from the commission out of what the money you make. So you don't generally don't have to worry about taxes within those regions. Does your money get taxed when you come locally? Um, that's a very good question. You know, it. the thing is, when you work online, um, the money you earn is still consider, considered um, residual income. So it's money that you earn. 
So if you file your taxes, well, I don't say if you file, when you're filing your taxes locally and you have to put actually your source of income, you still have to put this in. So you may have to pay taxes to a certain amount, but I will have to get somebody from Inland Revenue to verify this for me. And I'm, I'm not going to say anything because I'm not in that legal capacity to give this type of information on the radio airways. All right. So right now I'm going to click create my account. It's going to create, it's going to validate my email. Hope this doesn't take long. Come on, internet. I love you. All right. Your account has been successfully created. So literally, I created an account in literally like 10 seconds. Okay. Your account has been so You're re redirecting you. So right now, they're redirecting me. Okay. They want me to verify my email. Wow. Couldn't it just be an easy? Why, why couldn't it just be like a two step process? And I go say, like, oh, you're in. You know, like, you're in. We, we got you. Anyways, just give me like five, 10 seconds. Yeah, in, okay. All right, so in, yeah, I'm in. But this is my personal email. Hope nobody goes on this when I leave the computer. Ah, I trust everybody by DPS, you know, with family, you know. All right, so, oh, verify my email address. Click, I'm verifying my email address. Thank you very much. So my email address is verified. Okay, so now I just need to go to the login page. We just want to see what it's like. Mm, come on, don't do this. Don't make the people feel like I can't get this working. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. It's like a verification, but I will come back to this at a later show where I will do the whole process after my account is verified and show you the job which I'm going to apply for because I'm going to create a profile. I'm going to put my information in and I'm going to apply for a job live on radio, visually and on <laughs> visually and via the audio waves so I can get some description of what actually how I do this. All right. But we're going down into 15 minutes before the hour of nine o'clock. So I literally about 15 minutes about this. And I try to really cram a lot in this in the show tonight. Um, wow. I didn't know I could actually do that. But I have. It's free websites. As I told you, I have up to 16 websites you can actually use to work online. Um, if you're really interested in, in knowing about this and you want to know more information, feel free. Drop a line on DBS Radio Facebook page or go to this live where you see it live on YouTube or Facebook. Leave a comment there. Let me know what you think about it and what information you want to know about working online. And I'll try to source it for you and we'll get going. All right. So now we are going on to this website, which I really want to say is probably the most known the most notable websites it have when you talk about working online and it's the one where we give it a high five <coughs> not actually it's not it's it's actually the name is just five er so it's like f-i-v-e-r-r.com so it's fiverr.com where they say find the perfect freelance services for your business so now generally this is website is one is a very competitive website i would say you know you have a lot of individuals internationally roughly about 200 million persons on this platform all trying to compete to say i'm better at this than the other person and i'm the best person for your job excuse me but this is generally for as i would tell you earlier there's different types of online employment where you get from recommendations you get from referrals and then you get from your resume this is really based on recommendations so this is a review you usually do your work you put on your portfolio and you want people to actually see that you've done a good job for them so when you start off on fiverr the best thing to do is you try and take the least paid or the least revenue gained jobs it's not because i'm going to tell you you don't value yourself because when you value yourself you actually want to actually get paid the amount of money you want to, for your value but you want to start off with getting the least paid jobs because what happened when you try to get that the person you you give them an offer because you tell them this is the offer i'm offering you but you want to bring your price down to the part where you're desirable but you actually want to make sure the person see they're getting quality so what happens when you join up with fiverr and you sign up with this platform you want people to to give you the opportunity and then leave you a review. The higher your reviews become, is much more notable you become for you to get a job. But I'm going to tell you the Fiverr hack. Yes, on DBS Radio, I'm going to tell you a hack. 
I hope Facebook doesn't consider this as malicious. It's not a hack on Facebook. Please, Mark Zuckerberg, do not take down my video. I'm a very good boy. All right. But the, to hack the algorithm of Fiverr to actually ascend yourself in the much more prominent list, I'm going to tell you, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page because I tell you the golden truth about all the social and influential platforms is really about going down to the bottom of the page because that's where all the information is. So, when you reach the bottom of the page, what I want to look for, because I had it just a little while ago. Okay, here we are. Under the community section, in case you don't know, at the bottom, they are the categories. They have the about. They are the support section, but they have a community section. Community is for growth. I know if you were in high school or primary school, you always had this group, and you always had to work with people together. Well, yeah, that's a group. But the hack for you to actually ascend through Fiverr's network is actually sign up for the affiliates program. So, yes, that's the hack. It's a, it's a cheap thing. You feel to yourself, how is that a hack? How does that actually benefit me? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to click the affiliate. So, once you click Fiverr affiliates program, they say, boost your earnings by driving traffic to Fiverr. You literally become a direct employee for Fiverr without actually applying for Fiverr. It's weird. I, I know it sounds weird, but you become an employee for them because you're actually promoting individuals to come to their platform from using your own personal platform. So, how do you do that? Use If you're a very influential person, you're a person who works well, who's very social on social media, or you speak to other individuals and you feel that, you know what, I can work with this, I can bring them across, and uh, yeah, I can get a lot of people to sign up. So you don't want people to sign up, but you want people to sign up using the affiliate link. So they say, join as an affiliate, which I'm coming here. We say, choose, you choose your commission plan. You join as an affiliate. It's free to get started. Access marketing materials, tools, and more. Promote Fiverr. Share Fiverr with your target audience. There's a match for every need and start earning. Earn right from the moment your traffic converts. Check out our commission plans. So straight from joining, they give you the option to earn money through becoming an affiliate for Fiverr. And what happens is the better your affiliation works with the platform, the better they try to bring you as a, as a high-ranked individual on the Fiverr platform. They say this individual has been a mentor or actually worked with the platform very closely and has been very influential to its group. And then you start to build your own personal resume separately by taking on Fiverr jobs from the platform and then build your, your website, your, your own um, repertoire. So, you can start earning. I mean, from here, you come under the fiber pro the affiliates program, sorry, and you see the inf information all year, and you just click start earning, or you just click join. Um, I don't want to use my main account on this. You know, I, some information, as I told you all, not everything everybody should know about yourself. So, I'm not going to share everything about myself on national radio or on international social media. You know, I'll keep some secrets, at least for myself, for the current period in time. All right. But, um, yes, sign up for the affiliate program does give you the ability to do a few hacks, again, through what you necessarily need to get through for you to get up. So, um, let's just step back. All right. So, on the affiliate program, that's one of the ways to get started. And they have a lot of the information here under the commission plan. Um I think the commission plan, what's the CPA? So, okay, the CPA is 15 to 1, well, $15 to $150 CPA. Uh, most people want to know what CPA stands for. It's um, certified, certified professional. I can't remember. Certified professional. Give me one second. I'm going, I'm going to just find it. I recall this information, but. All right, so what is it? Okay, sorry. Certified public accountant. Oh my God, I said professional. Certified public accountant is what the CPA is. So you act as an uh, as, uh, intermediary between the funds which you've been received in, but you actually work as uh, probably, I would just refer this to more of the people who may not understand what I'm saying as a public relations officer. So you indirectly you work as a public relations officer and you get commission based or $150 based on the amount of people who are actually paying active active role in signing up from your affiliate. Now, is this multi-level marketing? Not exactly. No, it's not multi-level marketing. 
So they're not selling a direct product. They're trying to bring people into a service that is actually connected to a service which is free. So that is where it's a little bit different. I'm not going to try and tell you nothing about no sky scheme, but you can check it out once you sign up for the platform because it's a freelance marketplace where you actually list your skills and you promote yourself for you to get employment. So let me just go back to the main page. So let me just see if I can pick an individual. So I'm a, I'm a WordPress developer. I don't know if a lot of people know what WordPress is, but a lot of website platforms, even Dominica, they all build with a platform called WordPress. WordPress is a CMS. And if you want to know what the CMS stands for, that means it's a content management system. Wow. Yeah, so you have a lot of websites on the internet and they use a CMS to actually manage your content because, you know, building websites from scratch, like what we used to do with a thing called HTML, hypertext markup language, is a thing of the past. No one actually has the time to sit down and cut and slice a bunch of images and put it up together with wireframes and building websites because those things, they get technical. And some people, I have a brand, I want to sell a product, I want to get online. You're not that tech savvy, but you just want to build a website. WordPress can get it up and going within moments. If you're a person that like writing or you're, you're an avid reader and you want to try to like put out your own personal thoughts, you can build a blog with WordPress. It's great. They can build a business site. It's all dependent on how you actually structure the actual exterior look or they call it the UI, which is our user interface or the front end, which is the front end interface is what you actually look at when you visit the website. Right. So I touched on so many different topics. It's literally five minutes before the hour of nine o'clock. Um, I'm hoping that I paid some insight to all the individuals. I had just reached on fiber. So what I'll do is I extend this series to a part two. Um, I won't do it next week because next week I really want to talk about um, online selling. But I actually want to tell people about how to get paid through what payment options you have. So I may have to speak to someone from the financial, well, if one of the financial institutions and probably get some people to talk about from the financial information month where they have a lot of information. And if you haven't tuned in, we do have financial information month running through DBS radio on the radio airways every morning. Well, not every morning, but generally through the week course of the week where we actually go on to highlight financial information month through the CCB, which is funded by. And, you know, we have a lot of information sharing, which is valuable. And I think you all should check it out. If you haven't, if you missed anything, you can check out DBS Radio Facebook page. We did do the show live in our studios, and there's a recorded copy which you can actually get and you can actually listen and tune into. Right. Yeah, but I'm on this web on this area, WordPress. I mean, there's graphic design, there's digital marketing, there's writing and translation, there's video and animation, there's music and audio. And if you have a great voice, you can go to the voiceover section. So if you said to yourself, Hi, good evening, my name is Nicholas Dennis, and I'm inside text radio host you know if you feel you had that type of radio voice you can do voiceovers you can do this a lot of people they create a lot of animation and stills and they want somebody to actually voice out or script out what most of the information they are and we're going to talk about that in a future show all right i have a few individuals who have been trying to really get on the board but you know this is the time and the schedules so i'm I'm really trying to work with them to actually bring you more information on the radio airways and on the Facebook and social airways so everybody's out there who want to be tuned in. This is what I'm actually working towards. All right? Okay. So I'm just going to close off. So I'm going to cancel off the visual page, but I'm going to do a quick rerun of what I actually talked about. So for those people out there, we're just going to fade this. Yeah. So you see the little circuitry background behind me yeah i know it's a little bit cool I tried something thank you very much for that all right so what 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 you really we're trying to do here on inside tech is really explore what is in what is it but when you talk about it we want to talk about information technology we're not talking generally about programming a technical technical language information we really just want people to know that you have the ability to do it. If you use a smartphone every day, that's a technological device. Or if you say an information device, because your smartphone is connected to multiple platforms, social, your email, your banking, your techie. You may not call yourself a nerd, but you're techie. So you've been involved with tech for a long time and you're involved with tech every single day. You use it. Whether you use your microwave, you use your refrigerator, you use your smart television, you use Netflix, you use your email, your tech, you're directly connected to information that is digital or technological in some form or nature. 
So that is what we actually want to talk about on the show. We want to bring it in. We're not talking about the entertainment. We're going to talk about social. If, yes, sorry. Next week's actually, actually supposed to touch on the social because you know it's the independent season. Everybody's looking for somebody to need the greedy options of how they can actually grow their social engagement, how they can grow their social experience and actually build themselves online. So we want to touch about that and we want to bring that information out there to you. But I really just try and touch on the basics because if you want more advanced information, feel free to reach out to me. Um, for those who want to reach out to me quickly, you can just type digitaldominica.com. You get me straight to Facebook. I got a Facebook page, Digital Dominica. So if you go digitaldominica.com. Yeah, digitaldominica.com. It will redirect you straight to my Facebook page where I have actually started to try and create the tutorials where you're actually going to have some real visual walkthroughs, a lot more in depth than the one we did tonight would we'll actually tell you the steps of how you actually can do what you necessarily need to benefit yourself or actually get in working online. So if you feel the information I gave you tonight was useful, feel free to reach out to me on that website. Also follow DBS Radio Inside Tech every Tuesday at 8 p.m. We're going to do a lot more. We're here for you. We want to tell you DBS, the nation station, we're here for the people because that's our goal, that's our mission. So. Also, to stay tuned into DBS Radio for the rest of the independence. We're going to do a lot. We're trying to feature and cover a lot of activities which are going to go in. We want to put more the, the communities and more the villages and everybody out there to be connected to what's going on, especially the people in the diaspora regions. We want to make you all aware of what's going on. So thank you for tuning in. My name is Nichols Dennis. I've been your host for Inside Tech, where we explore what is IT. you listen across the world you listen and at home in the nature isle you listen you listen to dbs for unbiased coverage of breaking news original programs and so much music